Hi there and welcome to the next part of my Mandalorian costume build and as you can see it is coming together. Yeah, I'm very happy. Um, the latest updates basically I've been painting my uh, costume parts and I gave them a light coat of a um, spray on a lacquer, it's an acrylic lacquer. And I've tested it out, it seems to be quite flexible, so I'm, to, I'm happy with that. It's a little glossier than I thought, but I actually like it because really, I mean, a good soldier keeps his outfit clean anyway, right? And looks after his outfit, even with a few dings and scrapes and whatever else. But anyhow, I will probably do a little bit of weathering in corners and stuff like that anyway. But uh, overall, I'm very happy with it, and I'm happy too. The, the effect that the, the varnish has had you can see the varying tones of the green. It's not so obvious in this light, I guess, but you can see in the helmet a little bit, there's a little bit of varying tone. That's mainly because I think in various places the paint went on a bit thicker than others, and um, the lacquer has brought out the depth of the paint there. And I actually like it. It has a bit of variance, a little bit of natural weathering, I, I guess you could call it. Um, there the pants for the costume and i've already got the velcro on i need to put the velcro on these next that'll be the next thing i'm doing is starting to fit everything together um it's just a pair of brownish green very brown almost a green brown i guess more than brown green um jeans and they're to complement this old australian army shirt that i've had for nearly 25 years i think um maybe 21 years 22 years thereabouts it's australian um state of victoria 1987 is the date on it and uh, that's going to be the basis of my my uh, costume it's got has a lot of advantages to using a shirt like this one you've got the pockets at the top which will be perfect for this because that gives me somewhere to put that power bank for the for the um, breastplate but also here I can put a little loops in the tops of these to go through here and maybe a bit of velcro on the sleeve and that'll help hold them I can also for the um, uh, breastplate I've got a belt there that will go around my chest and around the back and that belt will be what the um, jet pack will hook onto and I hope this is all theory at the moment but so far every theory has worked so I've got to assume it'll work um, so I can also put a smaller strap over the shoulder and that can also go through there so this is going to be a really good shirt for this job um, those pockets will be hidden behind the breastplate for the most part so that's going to be good. Uh, there's the pouches and the belt that I've got for the pouches. Um, my old motorcycle gloves. I don't have a motorcycle anymore, so it's just got too dangerous to ride here in Phuket. Um, so, yeah, I put a little bit of shielding there and covered up the brand labelling and just they look they look the part, I think. And these are just odds and ends, bits of video projector parts, a child's wrist-mounted water gun. I've got Instagram posts about those. You can check them out. And uh, the jetpack, well, it's a mixture of projector and toiletries. <laughs> it's, um, I'm very happy with the overall finish. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the cape. It's um, Obviously, since I'm going to have a jetpack on, this will be just hanging to the side and not all over my back. So it doesn't matter that it's actually a leather pattern vinyl apron. I cut the side straps off that would go around your back at those corners and just kept the loop and that will just go around my neck and that will hang at my side that should do the job nicely so that's where I'm up to oh not quite <laughs> I also have uh, these guns here I got them hanging on my little diorama Flash Gordon inspired but yeah I just painted the brown on there for the woodwork and I think I can take that off now. See the brown on there as well. Um, this one has to be lacquered yet. The handle has to be lacquered on that. The only thing I component I really don't have is the long strap for that rifle so it can hang over my shoulder. But apart from that, it's all coming together now.